Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, thank you so much for your continued love and support that you continue to get this channel. I am here to do your uh, Scorpio full moon readings. I will tell you from the very beginning, this will not be a full reading. Um, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get through it. Okay, let's just see. This energy really is uh, taking me out a little bit. So I have been, I've been working all day to get my energy right to do these full moon readings. Um, and Scorpio, you all know that Scorpio is a very intense energy. It's a very intense energy and it's a very emotional energy. And so me being an empath, I feel everything. And then don't forget right now we got three planets that are stationary of uh, preparing to go into retrograde, which is Pluto, um, Pluto, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, so we got a lot, a lot of energy that is uh, at this time um, being penetrated, or the Earth is penetrating. It's that the energy is penetrating the Earth, and so um, I'm feeling it. <laughs> but just a little bit about this reading, you can. Um, Apply it to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Oh, we got cards flipping out already. Don't forget that somebody's about, about a daughter. Something's about a daughter, okay? The answer to your question involves your daughter. So whoever's already looking at this and you're questioning something about a daughter, it's already coming out. Um, don't forget the messages can flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could very well relate to your partner. Uh, we are slating this this message for again the full moon, which is in Scorpio on May seventh at six thirty p.m. Um, this energy will this this uh, full moon will be in Scorpio. Okay, uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot five five five. Don't forget that we do the Lotus Love Show every Monday through Thursday, nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget, wow, we got cards flipping out already. Set your sights higher. Okay, so increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. So whoever these messages are for, it's already coming out. Don't forget we do the private readings. Um, and don't forget that uh, we have a Patreon now. Ooh, join the Patreon. We do a lot of good things over there on our Patreon. All right, you guys, I think I have hit everything. So don't forget, once again, about this full moon in Scorpio. Um, a lot of secrets will be opening up, um, especially in regards to the wealthy leadership government because of Jupiter um, going in retrograde, Pluto going in retrograde, and Venus going in retrograde, and Mercury is going back to its sign, which is Gemini. So there's going to be a lot of talking going on, a lot of communication going on with that Scorpio full moon. Um, a lot of deep, hidden situations, emotions, things, secrets that you've tucked away, they will surface, okay? Because Scorpio requires and demands that. It demands that things that are hidden come to life, okay? Um, it's a very, very intense emotional sign, like I said before. And so it's going to dig for the truth. And it's going to not stop until it finds out its answers, okay? So for those who have been betrayed or what have you, this could be coming out during this time as well. All right. Okay, my loves, I think our chef was ready. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Scorpios. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And you guys, let me just say this. You know, I did part of the full moon readings yesterday, and my energy was really, really down. I mean, I really had to work on myself. I feel a lot better today. Uh, but just keep in mind that I'm still going to do just many readings, even though my energy level is, you know, feeling a lot where a lot better and where I need to be. Um, but this is just a mini reading. Please, you guys, don't put comments, okay? I don't know how many times I say this and when I've done mini readings in, in the past. Someone has always said, it was only five minutes or it was only seven minutes. I'm doing this so you'll know where to set your intentions, okay, for the full moon. So I'm trying to give you the areas that spirit is focusing in on for you. 
Now, if you don't know how to set your intentions, just look below and I put the link. We've done a video showing you how to set your intentions to make sure you are pulling the best energy that you can from this full moon, okay? Because this one is very, very powerful. Very powerful. All right, so let's just get started. Holy Spirit, divine prayer of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know as they begin to set their intentions? Scorpio need to know. Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth with the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7th, 2020. The messages need to go forth with the sign of Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? I thought I felt a flipper in here, but I guess I did not. get out of there. It looked like it was only two. Alright, so some of you are really getting your messages through. That's for sure. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator the Universe, what messages need to go for for the sign of Scorpio as it begins to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7, 2020. What messages need to go for for the sign of Scorpio? Just need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon on May 7, 2020. Ooh. Holy Spirit, the boundary of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on May 7, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Wow. Alright, Scorpios, we have a lot going on here, so let's just get started. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And you're expressing your love to yourself. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this is telling me right now that you are really needing the love of yourself. Making yourself feel loved. Like when I was telling you guys that my energy wasn't right. You know, really for the last two to three days, it just was not right. And I was pushing through trying to still do readings. But I had to, like, I wanted to start everything this weekend, and I couldn't because my energy was just zapped. And so I rested. And so I started again on Monday, which I was able to get through all of the general readings. Wasn't able to do extended. And then yesterday, I pushed through doing um, Aries through Virgo reading readings, and I did the Lotus Love Show. And so I'm, I was really, even if you look at the Lotus Love show last night, you'll see my energy level was just down. It was really, really down. So what does this say? Sometimes we have to take the time that we need to get ourselves in order because when we don't, when we're not right, it hurts other people. It hurts other, other areas. And that's why I always have to be truthful with myself. When I'm not right, when I'm not feeling right, I got to take the time to do what I need to do to get myself in order. So that's what this is saying here. Okay, you're really needing to show yourself love. Okay, friendship make a date for a play day with one or more friends. This has been coming up a lot, a lot. So, this is telling me once again that people are really needing to they're really needing to socialize right now, and that's I think that's what's happening. That's what spirit is saying. You know, do what you can to be around your family, be around your friends that make you happy. 
soulmate relationship, a new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now, okay? Remember, soulmates can be any relationship, father, brother, sister, cousins, friends, co-workers. This is any relationship. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles, okay? All right? So... Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So that means things are going to happen for you. And you got ways of prosperity. Wow. New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So things are happening. But once again, I feel like you have to love yourself first. It's not going to happen if you're working out of a very low um, energy. Okay? You and your loved ones are safe. That's a beautiful card to get right now birthday a significant birthday holds the answer to your question so i know we're in taurus season so if you are dealing with the taurus or have a birthday coming up or there is a something that has happened at a birthday you could be planning something for a birthday that's coming up that has a significant reason so something is surrounding a birthday spirit is telling you to do some research you need more information about this situation look into it further before proceeding Okay, so I don't know if that research is directly related to this birthday here or this situation where you're having this opportunity for waves of prosperity or just you doing what you need to do to research just to find ways of loving yourself. Okay, so you are recovering from, could be the situation, what is it, the situation um, here. You need more information about this situation, look into it further before proceeding. So it could be something that you're trying to recover from. Here's that opportunity for this waves of prosperity. That's that opportunity right there that's showing up again. Something you're needing to reconsider um, so the situation can improve, okay? So there's something that needs to be reconsidered so a situation can, can improve. All right, but again, you'll know how that's resonating with you. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.